Hey guys, Gray BTC here, and this is the part two of how to make $100 a day as a trader, especially if you have never traded before or you do trade, you've been trading, but you are inconsistent with your trading. So it is definitely possible to make $100 a day, $1,000 a day or more trading if you know how to do it. You need to learn to do it. So the first video I gave you guys basically the basic principles, how to start, the platforms that you need to use to do this. And in this video, I want to give you guys a strategy, all right? Because I watched that video and it got so many views and a lot of people comments. To this day, people send me DMs on Instagram and Twitter or TikTok, which you should follow me across all media platforms, by the way. And the question is, so how do you know which coin to trade, Gray? Like, what should I trade? There are so many coins to trade. What do I do? This video will answer this and give you guys a clear strategy that is easy to follow that can help you make money. So I have to preface this with saying that nothing that I will be sharing in this video should be considered financial advice. This is not financial advice. I'm sharing what I do, what I know after years of experience as a trader, and I'm very successful at it, and I like to help others. And also, I would appreciate it if you destroy the like button. Every single like I get, I do a push-up or a pet a lion. So, I would love it if you make the time to simply just give me that like. Another thing that I would like to let you know is that all platforms used to this in this video for trading, the platforms that I use for trading, links are in the description. I use Bybit for derivatives and I use... OKX for spot trading or derivatives as well. I like to trade on multiple exchanges to reduce third-party risk. So something that I've I always recommend to you guys is that to always spread out on the type of exchanges or platforms you use. So let's get to it. So I'll start this with a very, very important concept because the idea that I want you to understand in this video is of trend following. So the concept basically is if you're looking for a coin to trade, you wake up in the morning, you're like, what should I trade today? The easiest thing to do is to basically ride on a coin that is bullish on that day, that is pumping, or that is dumping. And the reason is that markets are have these self-reinforcing forces or trend following, which something that is going up typically tend to keep on going up even more. Or something that is going down is crashing tend to keep on crashing even more. So I'll show you guys examples, but let me show you where I got this from. So like I've shared a, ser a series of videos on TikTok or Instagram and one of the videos also on my other channel, Great BTC, where I teach a lot about philosophy and concepts and basically my vlogs. I shared in that video that one of the people that I learned a lot from in terms of trading is George Soros. And George Soros has this concept in his book, which I recommended in that video. I made a video of five best books you should, learn, you should read to become a good trader. So Soros has this theory of reflexivity, right? So he bases his trading principles on this theory of market reflexivity. According to him, market sentiment uh, has a self-reinforcing effect or what we call a positive feedback such that rising prices attract more buyers whose actions drive prices higher still until the process becomes unsustainable and the bubble, the bubble burst, the market comes crashing. Now, the same concept has also been explained here on Science Direct, self-reinforcing feedback loop in financial markets with coupling of market impact and momentum traders. If you have been in crypto, or in any other trading market long enough, you can actually think it backwards and you understand that this is true. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time your friend asked you about Bitcoin or they wanted to buy, they were so eager to invest in Bitcoin? Let me guess, it was when the price of Bitcoin was booming and all time high. Every day Bitcoin is pumping, is making the news. That is the self-reinforcing feedback. Because everybody is claiming that, oh, I'm making money on this coin and it's working, it's pumping. The next person does the same because they want to make money the same way. 
that is exactly what happens. And when something is crashing, everyone else is scared and they want to dump so that they can get into a stable coin and avoid losing more money. Now, what that means is just that you look at the trend that's, bo that's booming, you want to follow it. This, for, this works especially when it comes to day trading. This is a day trading strategy. That's why I'm talking about it here. You also work on long, longer term horizons. But longer term, I find that it's easier to find something that, it's, that hasn't moved yet. And you time yourself for, for a breakout. But in daily trading, you wake up in the morning, you're looking for something to trade. You want something that is obviously pumping. So let me give you a couple of ideas of how this works. And by the way, if you want to take trading seriously, and start making an income as a trader, I recommend that you join my alpha group. Link is in the description. It is basically a group of professional traders like myself and others. We share our trades, our altcoin picks, and also we teach others. You, If you have questions, you're able to ask. And on top of that, you have access to crypto university courses on trading and investing crypto or NFTs. So you, for you to be successful as a trader, you need to be a part of a community with other traders that are doing this every day. That's how you're able to find alpha, what's pumping, and what are the right things to jump into, and to also look at what other people are researching, and so on and so forth, all right? So I recommend you do it. Link is in the description below. Also, you can simply go to CryptoUniversity.network. Um, now, let's move on on examples of this. So, I will go to CoinGecko. Where is CoinGecko? In the, by the time I'm recording this, in the last few weeks, the market has been pumping until a few days ago. Bitcoin crashed a little bit from 30,000 to now 27,000. Now, if you observe on the seven-day chart, Right, there are certain coins that were pumping so much, including let's see which ones here have been in a bullish trajectory for a while on the seven day. Radix, this coin Radix has been pumping like crazy, but everybody is kind of scared to touch it because they thought that whoa, it has been pumping for so long, therefore, it's more likely to crash. Of course, it would crash, but based on our concept of self reinforcing forces you can see that the trend keeps on going on so in 14 days this coin has made 65 percent profit in 30 days it has made 105 percent profit meanwhile everybody was kind of saying okay look this coin has now topped up and it just keeps on going another example is how meme coins or shit coins do is that dogecoin can just start pumping and then it starts attracting a lot of people and then the trend continues. So let's look at Radix, for example, XRD. And let's pay attention to what, how it was moving. All right, here we go. So this is a daily chart and you can see it here. It started the bullishness over here on the 3rd of April. And it started going and all these days it just kept on going up. And that, that movement here convinces a lot of people to buy or it attracts more buyers. And even though you might see a day of a correction, like right now the market, even Bitcoin is in a correction. But as long as the, the fundamental sentiment is upwards, everybody is optimistic that the price is going to go up and a lot of people are dying to buy it, you'll see that it continues. So... Sometimes you might be like, okay, but what coin should I buy? Like right now, the market is kind of down and you might not know what to buy. What you need to do is to just look at the 30-day time frame on CoinGecko. Look at the coins that have been really been the best performers. Like right now, if we go to seven days, the tokens like Render and others. And what you do, you basically just buy those. I want to see on the, the top of the 30-day. Okay, we can see the 30 day here, but there have been tokens like render that have been bullish, extremely bullish. What you do, you basically find those. Injective protocol right now is also bullish. This is render on the daily. This is how it has been moving. Incredible run. 
right? It started over here and then it just kept going because the volumes also here, you can see they have been moving. So this is basically a simple strategy of fo following self-reinforcing forces. Now, it doesn't mean that you will get every trade right because when one can also make an argument like, hey, if the coin has gone up this much, well, look, this is 300% in a very short period of time. It's bound to crash. The answer is yes, it will crash. So sometimes you might buy it, you might buy a self-reinforcing coin and then it might crash. But sometimes you ride it really nicely and you'll be on the way to the top. The golden rule in this is that you will win more trades than you lose using this strategy, right? So your win rate is going to be higher, which makes out for all the some of the losses that you might make. But it's something that you have to put in principle in practice because there is also an element of your own emotions that can affect your trading. And also just as a coin, when everybody wants to dump it, like Arbitrum happened recently also, there was a little bit of a bad news that happened with a DAO and a lot of people started dumping. And guess what? That took also a lot of downward spiral for it because everybody starts dumping, right? So it's basically that. You look at the, tr you find alpha or a reason and then you ride it. Okay, this coin it seems like to be in a bullish momentum. You ride the momentum. The tra in, in simpler terms, you hear this thing traders talk about is the trend is your friend. Ride the trend. Everything is pumping, you buy in. Things seem to be crashing down, be bearish as well. Both strategies, the downside is that when once the trend gets invalidated, like when the momentum is over towards whatever direction, that's when you lose your money when it reverses now because each trend goes on for a while and then it reverses itself just like the arbitrum here we're looking at it pumped and then it starts crashing and then now we're going sideways here and this when we you hit sideways uh in the sideways area this is where you can implement what we call a breakout strategy in times like this because one of two things is going to happen a breakout or a breakdown and you can basically set it what we call a trap on this trade but i'll share that on the next video today i just wanted you guys to give you a part two of the daily trading hundred dollar target to make a hundred dollars if you didn't watch the first one link will also be in the description below i appreciate you guys for watching thank you remember to destroy the like button and join my offer group you meet a lot of us there, we do weekly sessions helping you with your trading live on Discord. And also you have direct connections with all the traders. You can ask questions. Your own ideas can also be challenged in there. That's exactly, it's, it's the best investment as a trader in crypto or an investor. You need an alpha group to be part of. All right. So join you right now. Link is in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.